Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Teresa from VIP Kid, Go Go Kid and Class Talk. I'm here to talk to you today about how I use Google Slides and Cam Twist in my classroom. You can also do this very same thing with either Manicam, SparkoCam, or any of the other camera softwares out there. Now, what I have noticed that most teachers do is they're coming into the classroom and they're choosing this present view button. So they're showing themselves the whole slide show instead of keeping the thumbnails open. I don't do that. I like having these thumbnails on my side of the screen so that I can use these props again at the end as extension or if I just want to use the same exact prop within the same lesson without having to memorize what slide number it was on. So when I choose my desktop settings, I am clicking the, the capture area for just that portion of my screen. So now the capture area is just here. So that's all the student is going to see, but I'm not losing my thumbnails on my side of the screen. So if I hit done selecting, now here in my classroom, what you see for this on the student side is the I am Mag and you see me holding my other camera because I don't know how you teachers are able to record using Cam Twist and share your screen at the same time because mine wouldn't do it. But this is how I do that in the classroom. There's me, there's the slide. I can choose crayon and now the student sees the word crayon, but I don't have to lose my thumbnails. I can pick and choose exactly what I want and the student still only sees just the slide because that's all I've shared with them. Bye now, hope this helps somebody.